Hey everyone, uh, this is a slight update on Eternals Information Technology Group. The update is for Gala Server. It is literally almost completely constructed to the way I wanted it. I finally got a proper board in here that will run the Intel Quad Core. Uh, Core 2 Quad. Uh, <clears throat> sorry, I've been... Oh, I've been up going on about close to 19 hours now but uh I'll show you what it is now uh, right here is a silicon power 60 gigabyte SSD this is just a streaming server so I didn't need that big of an SSD yet I will be upgrading it and putting this into the PF sensor I'll be building to put into the rack which is right here this is almost completely finalized on the top section the server gets posted here and this stays here or I might move it up. Now I'm going to move it down one so I can put another 2U here, which will hold the PF Sense, and then another 4 down here, which will be a backup of this, as well as my video editing server I plan on building. But back to the poor little Gala server. Sorry about that, I might jump around quite a bit. Um, this will be the only piece I replaced left. It uh, was pulled from the Lenovo. Uh, this part right here I bought it from eBay. It ran me about 20 bucks. <clears throat> this board was about 40. RAM was about 30. This is something I keep having laying around. No, I'm not going to upgrade this to a PCI version, PCIe version. Just because if you look carefully here, there's literally nothing that interferes with the back of this. And it runs perfect. So, if it runs fine, leave it the hell alone. <clears throat> Anyways, like I said, it, after a while, after my Plex Media stuff builds up to a certain point and it caches all the images and stuff, it stores it on here. Uh, this is about... only got 20 gigs left open on it. So, I'm not going to be doing much more on that. I might install a Minecraft server eventually, just to see what I can do with this. Um... This is the DVD burner I have in here so I can burn our home movies. This is a, I think it's at a 250 watt or 300 watt power supply. I can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, this, like I said, I got this free. This case is about 70 bucks. SSD is, oh, how much was it? About 30 bucks because it's 60 gigabytes. It's not as much. I know I could have gotten a much bigger SSD for a little more money, but... I wanted the 60 gig eventually for the PF sensor, so I went ahead and bought it now, so I have it. I was also running low on funds. Um, the thing I like about the Intel Socket 775 boards that are have the uh, four memory channels on it, which is dual memory, is that it's got built-in HDMI and DVI, has optics, no. Yes, I know this is not mounted properly. This is why I want a different power supply so I can properly run this cabling right here. But yeah, this I might upgrade this uh, kit here to 800 megahertz instead of the 667 that it is. Remember in a previous video, I said that the down motherboard I had in here just to get the system running temporarily so I could get most of the stuff in would only play. Nice with 667 memory, and there's a joke in there somewhere I can't remember. Uh, two 80 millimeter fans I plan on replacing. This surprisingly does good cooling, it keeps it at about 63 Celsius at max load for about an hour straight using Prime 95. Um, it has a copper slug in the center. I will make sure to post links in the description on where you can get all these parts that I got. This I got off Amazon. Uh, Amazon had that laying around forever. Doctor's office where I've been doing side work for. Can't say much beyond that at the moment because those videos are still being recorded. Uh, this memory was from Amazon. And this case was from Amazon. The rest of it's eBay or the doctor's office. I'm doing side work for. But you can see everything's nicely cable managed. Uh, 
The reason I'm not worried about the two screws not being in the bottom of this is the way these wires are managed. It holds it down nicely and the case bolts into, well the panel bolts into the sides here. So it actually perfectly flush and it keeps it from playing around when I plug it in. Uh, I run Windows 10 Pro 64 bit on here. So, it lets me run Plex, and I don't have the kind of money laying around where I can keep running Windows Server, uh, the latest edition, which if I remember right, you gotta pay for a yearly license. Microsoft, for us home users that run our own servers, can you please kindly make a model where we pay whatever, as long as we use it on lower grade hardware, please? Otherwise, I might eventually one day go to Linux again. Wait. <clears throat> see, but yeah, that's pretty much it. This board has four SATA ports. I can't remember if they're 3 gigabit per second or not. Uh, it has one PCI slot, which can run PCI X cards, two PCI E1 X1s, and a PCI X16. These are all 2.0s. has a rear fan header, CPU fan, and front fan header. Something I noticed about this board uh, when I got it and I hooked it up. Because I didn't have this or this hooked up, it kicked an air saying the fans weren't working. Obviously, they're not working because they're not plugged in. But it's nice to know that the board has a lot of safety features in it. So, consider I'm going to be using it in a server style design. I want safety features so I know if something happens, it lets me know by beeping until I check it out. Um, getting a little heat sink here. Doesn't get hot. Massive heat sink. Gets warm. Uh, I touched this when I had it under full load. Don't ever do that. That hurt. But I wound up going with uh, the Arctic MX2 thermal compound I got off Amazon. It works the way I want it. And it has a lifespan of 8 years. I don't plan on doing much else to this server beyond replacing this power supply. And this power supply will go into the next 2U build, which will run out of the same case, hopefully. Or one that doesn't have this right here. Roswell sells two versions. And that's about it. Oi. See, is there anything else? I'll give you one really quick tour. Like I said, the top of this is completely planned out now. Gaila server goes here. I am currently doing a PFSense build using a new socket 775. Well, old socket 775 board I have behind me. No, I'm not showing you that yet because I plan on doing a video on it. Um, I'm going to be replacing all these with actual metal washer style uh, cage nuts and sixes. Uh, this will run the 100 megabit network. This will run the gigabit network. Uh, the way I'm going to run this is the PFSense has a four port quad port gigabit NIC in it that's in cell. I will have two feeding in for my internet provider into it and then two running out. One will go to here and one will go to here. This way it can be evenly distributed out the house. Um, <clears throat> you've seen enough videos on this for now. This is pretty much done until I can get more money together because I plan on buying the hot swap bay for here and getting the four hard drives all at once as well as hopefully a new RAID controller. And that's about it. Uh, let's see, this video is going on 9 minutes 2 seconds. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, press like. If you like seeing me be half asleep while still doing this kind of stuff, press like. If you want to see me get hurt, post a comment. If you disliked the video, I just ask that you please put in the comments what you disliked about it. Uh, peak is coming up at work. I will be working out mandatory overtime pretty much all throughout January. I'll try to keep videos posted. This is why I'm now also doing many videos. This way I can at least try to keep the schedule I originally planned when I first started my channel. Anyways, I hope you all have a good night. I'm heading my happy behind the bed. And then this will get posted right after I wake up. See y'all later.